This video is best viewed on a full screen at 1080p quality. Click the gear at the lower right corner of the video window. Next, click the quality option. And finally, select 1080p. I'm projecting all of the images in a dimly lit room rather than a dark room. For this I'm using two shaded lamps placed about 12 feet diagonally from the center of the screen and each lamp has a small 15 watt chandelier bulb in it. The ambient light in the room measures 4 lumen at the center of the screen. So the two most important factors in your home theater are obviously the projector and the screen and that's why I want to quickly mention the type of screen I'm projecting onto. In this case, it's a spandex projector screen instead of the more typical blackout material. There are several advantages to this type of screen, uh, one of which it can attach to a $30 backdrop stand. Uh, it's easy to do. You just take some five spring clips and you attach the screen to the backdrop stand. And this can be used outdoors in your backyard or take it with you camping or to a party. And the screen I have here is made in the USA by Stretch Screen USA. It's available on Amazon for around $80, which is actually less than a do-it-yourself uh, fixed frame type screen. Uh, you don't have to buy wood, corner bracket staples, and actually build the frame as you do with that type of frame. The other advantage uh, is that you don't need a permanent empty wall space. For example, the situation I have here is a little awkward to put up a fixed frame screen because I have a staircase in the way. But with the spandex projector screen, that's not a problem. It literally only takes 30 seconds to put up this screen. Right here, we're all halfway done already. It just simply attaches to five small hooks that are uh, in the ceiling, and you can barely see them. And the corner brackets, the, the bottom corners, attach with a bungee to something as simple as a water jug or whatever you want to uh, use for that. And there you have it. The screen is completely up. So here you can see the spandex projector screen produces a really good image, but that's only half the story. Check this out. If we pick up our camera and walk around behind the screen, you can see that the spandex projector screen can also act as a backlight screen. That's like getting two screens in one. No other type of projector screen can do this. Now, buyer beware, you may be tempted to go with a cheaper knockoff version from China, but go with the one made in the USA. It's Amazon's choice, even at a higher price, and it has 147 reviews so far, where the cheap one only has three reviews, which can easily be faked. So here's the Amazon product page of the spandex projector screen that I have, and they have images along the left. As you can see, the, it's a much cleaner design instead of sewn crooked and all that. And the fabric is a much higher quality. It's a tighter weave, which will give you better colors and a sharper image. And here is a real-world example of that. I have the two screens hung side by side with the Made in the USA one on the left and the Chinese knockoff version on the right. And you can really see the difference in the color quality, the brightness, the saturation. And if you look at this next image here, you can actually see how much detail you lose in the smoke due to the uh, looser weave of the cheaper fabric. Here's the product page one more time, and I put a link in the description to make it easy for you. All right, let's get going. Compare our projectors. Here you can see the size comparison between the AXA P700 Pro portable projector with a brightness of 650 lumen and a 1280 by 800 resolution, and the AXA M5 portable projector rated at 900 lumen and a similar 1280 by 800 resolution. Here we have a simple white image to compare the brightness. As you can see, the XM5 is only slightly brighter than the P700 Pro. Now let's zoom in to compare the pixels. Here we have some basic colored squares, and there's very similar colors between the two projectors. And you may want to pause on this next slide. This is the actual lumen measurement of each color. This was done in a completely dark room as opposed to a dimly lit room like all our other slides were shot in. And let's zoom in to compare the pixels. And here we have a basic color gradient. Uh, as you can see, fairly similar color profile between the two projectors. Now we'll do a more advanced color gradient here. And once again, fairly similar color profile. Next we have some colored smoke on a white background. 
And the AXA P700 Pro has slightly better details in some of the areas. And let's zoom in to compare that more closely. Here's that same colored smoke but on a black background. And once again, the AXA P700 Pro has slightly better details. And we'll zoom in on this one to compare that as well. Here's some highlight and shadow bars. Uh, similar shadow highlight details from both projectors. And let's zoom in to compare the details here. Here we'll look at the shadow details of each image. The Exa P700 Pro produces a slightly better overall image. And we can zoom in to compare the pixels. This one we'll look at the highlights. Uh, the Exa P700 Pro has a more neutral gray tone. Here we'll compare shadows again. And the Axa M5 has a bit too much contrast, making it appear a little bit harsh. And let's zoom in on that to compare that. Here we'll compare highlights and shadows in a single image. The Axa P700 Pro has slightly better highlights. And now we'll test the resolution with some grid patterns. The AXA M5 enlarges and crops the edges of the image a little bit. And let's zoom in to compare the grid more closely. Good results from both projectors. Here's another grid pattern for comparison. The AXA M5 enlarges and crops the edges of the image once again. And we'll zoom in to compare very similar results. Here we have some black grids on a white background. Uh, both projectors reproduce the grid patterns fairly accurately. And let's zoom in on this one to compare that more closely. And reversing that, some white grids on a black background. The accurate grid pattern is reproduced from both projectors. And we'll zoom in on this one to compare that. Next, we'll look at the text quality. Uh, the Axa P700 Pro produces slightly darker text. And we can zoom in on this to compare that more closely. Here we'll look at some flesh tone comparisons. The Axa P700 Pro produces more saturated skin tones. And let's zoom in to compare that more closely. Here's a few more faces for comparison. Uh, the Axa M5 skin tones are slightly washed out, but both projectors still look pretty good. And zooming in, we can see that here. Here we'll do a color comparison. The Axa P700 Pro colors and details are slightly better. And we'll zoom in to compare that, but good results from both projectors. Here's a similar image for color comparison. And the Axa P700 Pro colors are once again slightly better. And here's a lower contrast scene with some fog. The Axa P700 Pro has a bit more contrast. Here we'll do one more color comparison. Uh, the yellows are quite different from both projectors. And here we'll look at the sky here. Fairly similar image quality with good shadow details from both projectors. And let's zoom in to compare the details here. Here's a nice high contrast image. Uh, fairly similar image quality between the two projectors. And we'll zoom in on this one as well to compare that more closely. Here we'll look at the contrast, and the XM5, it's a little too bright for the image, producing a little bit too much contrast. And let's zoom in to compare the details. Good results from both projectors. Here's a nice dimly lit scene, and the XM5 has slightly more contrast than the P700 Pro. And let's zoom in on the pyramid to compare the sharpness. Here's a sunset to compare. Uh, the Axa M5 is a little bit too bright, making the clouds look a little bit uh, unnatural. 
and uh, dimly lit scene again. The XM5 brightens the sky too much, and you'll notice the color difference in the road. It's a little bit more red from the P700 and more yellow from the M5. Here's a good night shot. And the XM5 is brighter, but is less natural looking. And let's zoom in on the fence area here to compare the details. Here we have a green train. Nice image from both projectors. And we'll zoom in on this one to compare the details. Here's an illuminated balloon at night. Uh, the Axa M5 over brightens the clouds. Once again, they look a little bit less natural than from the P700 Pro. Here's some fireworks. We'll look at the fine line details, and we get nice fine line details from both projectors being the same resolution. And our final image, a night shot with some stars in the sky. The Axa P700 Pro looks a little more natural. The M5, the sky is a little bit too blue and zooming in to compare the stars. Next we'll compare the AXA P700 Pro 650 lumen projector against a full-size name brand BenQ 2000 lumen projector. You'll learn from some of my other reviews that the name brand projectors are often brighter than the same lumen rating from budget projectors you'll find on Amazon for under $100. Here's a quick brightness comparison between the sub $100 DB Power T20 budget projector with a claimed rating of 1800 lumen and the name brand BenQ projector rated at 2000 lumen. From this picture, it's clear that the claims of cheap knockoffs are not always true. I think you'd agree the BenQ projector on the right is much more than 10% brighter than the budget projector on the left. The same holds true for the quality of your projector screen. Here's a quick comparison between a cheap $30 spandex projector screen made in China on the right and an $80 spandex projector screen made in the USA on the left. As you can see, it's worth spending a bit more for the higher quality image you'll get. With that being said, you will remember from the beginning of this video I showed you that I was projecting these images onto a white spandex projector screen. However, if you want to use your projector in a room that's not totally dark, or if you want to use it outside, like in your backyard for an outdoor movie, or take a camping, or to a party or something, there are two things you may want to consider. A brighter projector and the darker silver spandex projector screen. Even though the silver screen looks quite a bit darker than the white screen, it'll actually give you a nice bright image with more contrast, which is especially useful when you can't get an environment that's completely dark, such as being outside with a full moon or if there's streetlights nearby. Now the other benefit of the darker silver spandex screen is that you won't have to wash it as often if you accidentally drop it on the ground because you won't notice dirt as much on the darker fabric. But keep in mind, if the spandex screen does get dirty, you can just throw it in the washer using cool water and then dry it for 10 to 15 minutes in the dryer and it's good as new. That's not as easy with some other types of projector screens. And finally, you'll remember when I showed you the rear projection ability of the white spandex projector screen, well, the silver screen has that same ability. Okay, let's continue with our BenQ comparison. Here you can see the size comparison between the AXA P700 Pro portable projector with a brightness of 650 lumen and a 1280 by 800 resolution and the full-size name brand BenQ W1070 projector with a brightness of 2000 lumen and a higher 1920 by 1080 resolution. Our first comparison here will be a simple white image to compare the brightness. As you can see, the BenQ is slightly brighter than the AXA P700 Pro. And next we'll zoom in to compare the pixels. And here you can see we get nice colors and brightness from both projectors. This next slide you might want to pause on. This is the actual lumen measurement of each color. This was done in a completely dark room as opposed to a dimly lit room like all our other slides were shot in. And next, let's zoom in to compare the color pixels. Here's a basic color gradient. And as you can see, we get nice results from both projectors. And here is a more advanced color gradient. And here you'll notice that you get uh, brighter colors in the bottom of the screen near the shadow areas from the brighter BenQ projector. And let's take a look at some colored smoke on the white background. The AXA P700 Pro has a bit more contrast, but zooming in we can see the BenQ has better details. 
And reversing that, we have colored smoke on a black background, and we get a nice looking image from both projectors. But when we zoom in, we can see the higher resolution BenQ produces better fine details. And next we'll look at some shadow and highlight bars. You can see the BenQ is brighter overall, especially in the darker shadow areas. And zooming in, we also see the BenQ has smaller pixels and a little bit sharper text. And then this next image, we can see those much brighter shadow details from the higher lumen BenQ projector. And next we'll compare highlights. Nice image from both projectors with the AXA having a bit more contrast than the BenQ. And here we will compare shadows one more time. You can see the 2000 lumen BenQ produces a brighter overall image with better shadow details. And zooming in, we can see that more closely here. This is a good photo to compare shadows and highlights in one single image. As you can see, the BenQ has much better shadow details, but the highlights look more natural as well without as much contrast as the AXA P700 Pro. Next, we'll compare the resolution with some grid patterns, and as you can see, the lower resolution AXA P700 Pro holds up fairly well against the higher resolution BenQ projector. And let's zoom in on that one to compare that more closely. Here's another grid pattern for comparison. Fairly similar results from both projectors and zooming in. And here we see similar results from a black grid on a white background. And zooming in, we can see similar results here as well. Reversing that, some white grids on a black background. And once again, the lower resolution AXA holds up fairly well against the BenQ. And zooming in, we can see a good comparison here. Here we'll compare the text and nice results from both projectors. Zooming in, you can see both are legible. And here we'll look at some skin tones, nice skin tones from both projectors. Zooming in, we can see the higher resolution BenQ produces smoother looking faces. And here we have a few more faces for comparison. And let's zoom in on this one and we see once again the higher resolution BenQ has smoother looking features. Next we have a color comparison with the AXA projector having a bit more contrast. And zooming in we can see the BenQ has a little bit better detail. Here's a similar image for color comparison. And once again we get good colors from both projectors. And here in our foggy image once again we can see the AXA projector has a bit more contrast. Here you can see the brightness advantage of the BenQ, especially in the background. And note the difference in the uh, tone of the yellow color. And this image here, you can see how much brighter the sky is from the BenQ projector. And zooming in, we can see the BenQ has uh, better details too due to its higher resolution. Here's a good high contrast image. Both projectors look great with the BenQ being brighter. And let's zoom in to see the details. And here you can see the contrast of the BenQ projector is a bit better. And zooming in, we can see the details are a little bit sharper as well. In this dimly lit scene, we see the AXA projector has a bit more saturation, but the BenQ has much better shadow details. And let's zoom in on the pyramid to compare the sharpness. And a good looking sunset from both projectors. The AXA has a bit more color saturation and the BenQ projector is brighter overall. And here we have our illuminated bridge. You'll notice a color difference, the AXA having a bit more red and the BenQ a bit more yellow color. And zooming in, we can see the BenQ produces sharper details. And in this night shot, you can see how much brighter the BenQ projector is. And zooming in, you can see a bit more detail in the fence area there. And in our green train image, you can see the BenQ projector has much better shadow details. And zooming in, you can see it's a crisper image as well. Our illuminated balloon here, both projectors produce a very good looking image with the BenQ being brighter once again. And for the fireworks, we can see great colors from both projectors with the BenQ's higher resolution producing a bit better fine line details. And in our final image, you really see how much brighter the BenQ projector is. And zooming in on this one, you can see the details are a bit crisper as well. So my final advice is as follows. If you're always going to be using your projector in a totally dark room, 
then the brightness isn't as important as the resolution. It'd be better to get a dimmer projector with a higher resolution. So if your viewing environment isn't totally dark, such as a room with windows and you don't have blackout curtains during the day, or you're outside where there may be street lights or a glowing moon, then you'll want to go with a brighter projector. But remember that cheap projectors are almost never as bright as they claim to be. And as far as resolution goes, I would typically pick a less bright projector with a higher resolution over a brighter projector with a lower resolution. You can always try to make your room darker, but you'll never be able to increase the resolution of your projector. I personally would never get a projector with a resolution below 720p, which is a resolution of 1280 pixels across by 720 pixels high. The reason for this is that you'll most likely be enlarging the video to about 9 feet across, and at that size you can actually see the individual pixels on lower resolution projectors. I think a 1080p projector is about the highest resolution you'd need, as a 4K projector doesn't really add all that much to the picture quality for the much higher price you'd be paying. Here's a screenshot from a YouTube video that compares a 4K projector versus a 180p projector. It's being projected onto a wall, but even so, there's really not much difference between the quality. As far as sound goes, I would recommend an external speaker of some sort, as most projectors that I've come across under $500 do not have great sound quality. But I will say I was fairly impressed with the sound I got from the soda can sized Nebula capsule. You'll also want to consider if you'd like a portable projector that can run on batteries, as opposed to a projector that has to be plugged into the wall. The portability of the smaller projectors is always nice, but keep in mind that the battery life is almost always under two hours, but it is not limited to running on the battery only. You can always plug it in for unlimited run time. As far as portable projectors go, I really like the AXA brand. The P300, P700, and M5 projectors have a fairly high resolution, nice colors, and good brightness. The Nebula capsule also produces a decent image with really good speaker, but it does have a lower resolution than the three AXA projectors. Alright everybody, thanks for your time. I hope you found this video informative, and if you think others would find it helpful, please click the thumbs up button, which makes it easier for them to find it. And also don't forget to click on the links for the Spandex projector screens below in the description, and check back for more projector comparison videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching.